Hello, thank you for joining us again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the 6500 and the Nexus, kind of compare and contrast those and see which one might be right for you. So what we have up here is we have two uh, lists of features for both the 6500 and the Nexus. Uh, I'm going to kind of go back and forth between these two and we'll just talk a little bit about it. You know, what would make either platform right for you? Um, so we'll start on the 6500 side. If you have a 6500, a lot of these features and things are going to be very familiar to you. Right at the top of the list, though, is the iOS. Uh, 6500 iOS is something that's tried and true. It's been around a long time. Everyone's very familiar with it. Um, and if you are, you know how powerful the iOS really can be. There's a lot of different features and functions that it has uh, that other operating systems just do not. And then it also has some proprietary things that they don't. Um, but at the same time, it brings a lot of the power to the table um, that any great switching platform will. On the other side of the spectrum, you have the Nexus. Well, it has a newer operating system. The NXOS is very, well, has some very similar features to the iOS, uh, but it's built off the MDS 9000 architecture. Um, while it still does have a lot of the power, uh, you know, a powerful switching platform that the 6500 does as well, it is lacking some of the features that the 6500 has at this point. Um, so moving down the line, uh, service modules versus fabric extenders. Service modules, things like the wireless service module, uh, firewall services module, are things that we know and love in the 6500, having that modularity um, and the ability to support a wide variety of architectures. The Nexus doesn't have service module support as of yet. I do believe that's something they're looking at possibly adding or adding at, at least on a limited basis. But what they do have is they have fabric extenders um, and while not a direct correlation, does give the Nexus the ability to expand uh, across the data center and leverage um, its ability to have a wide variety of interfaces at, at very high speeds. Which kind of brings us down into our third point, which is uh, the 6500 with high speed interfaces, 10 gig and 40 gig interfaces. Um, while it can't do loads of 10 gig, it can support uh, 4, 8, and 16 port 10 gig modules, uh, which is huge, and 40 gig kind of coming on the horizon. The Nexus, of course, can do lots of 10 gig. Um, it can also support 40 gig and even 100 gig, which the 6500 at this point cannot do and probably will not, although you know that remains to be seen. And then also fiber channel. So it has a lot of really high speed uh, data interfaces, which sort of differentiates it. And I would say, you know, when you're comparing these two platforms, this may be the big selling point or the big reason to, per, you know, perhaps move to this platform. And then at the bottom, I just wanted to kind of also highlight how long have these platforms been around? The, the 6500's been around for 14 years. That's a long time. You know, now, of course, they've refreshed things with the 6500 E series. Um, just recently announcing the Soup 2T as well. So that's sort of refreshed this platform. But 14 years, that I don't see as a negative, I see that as a big positive. That means 14 years of uh, really blazing a trail and uh, coming out with a technology that's very rock solid. You know, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know, any uncertain paths here. Everything's been very fully established. Over here we have five years. Now five years is a good amount of time, but it's still new. Uh, by comparison. So while there are some bugs and some things they're still working out, this platform's still growing. I would consider this in a, you know, a growing period where they're looking in ways that they can uh, maintain and differentiate it from the 6500. You know, at the end of the day, uh, you really need to consider all these aspects and decide which one would be right for you. All right, so we've considered a lot of different uh, features and functionalities of both platforms, but really at the end of the day, it all comes down to choice, which is probably the best thing. And that will earn us the Green Lantern smiley face for today. So thanks for joining us. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you next time.